Hey guys, it's Ability44 here, and this is going to be the update video for the loyalty program, batch 3. But I'm not going to start out with that. I'm going to start out with this money pouch and the tool belt. Now, with the tool belt, you can put tools in here that you would most commonly use. And as you can see, I have about three missing. Now, one of them is the chain mold, which um, I haven't done the quest for. It's um, Legacy of Sarah, or Sarah's, what is it? Legacy, yeah, Legacy of Sergey's. So I haven't done that, but I'm gonna make two tools right now to actually show y'all how the tool belt works and um, like what you can actually do with it, how you add items, blah blah blah, all that shit. So as you see, I just made a bronze axe or a bronze hatchet with no hammer or anything, you know. So you know that's why the tool belt's so cool because I have a hammer. In it right there and it allowed me to use it just straight up just like that now I think that's a pretty cool option now to actually add tools the tool spot is going to have to be available in your tool belt but you just right click the item click add to tool belt and it's in there you know check this out it's right there so cool deal you can only add you, you can't add multiples so if you add you if you have like pfft, 20 needles you want to add into your tool belt can't do that so sorry but no and you can only do bronze items you can't do like rune or anything like that now the next thing I'd like to talk to you all about is the money pouch which is pretty much just a pouch that keeps your money and it's just located right here on the mini map now another cool thing about this is that it has the price checker so close at hand so you can just add any item that you want in there and check it you know pretty easily so I thought that was really really cool I'm just gonna bank this uh, ruby ring and you know um also the money like it doesn't show up on items kept on death so I believe with this you will not lose you know anything along with the tool pouch you know or the tool belt you won't lose anything off the tool belt you won't lose anything out of your money pouch just as long as those items are in there they're with you forever, you know. Like you got them on your account for good. Um, now with this, I'm gonna buy a bronze pick real quick. Now with the money pouch, you'll see because the bronze pick is the last thing that I need um, for my tool belt, and hopefully the son of a bitch buys because that's uh, that's gonna be really lame. Um, now one thing that I realized that Jagex does need to fix up is this. It says that you have no coins when I actually do, obviously. Um, so you just want to buy that. Yes, it bought. Okay. So cool deal. Bought it. And, um, you know, cool. So also, if you get it as a drop, like, um, you know, and you pick up the money, like, God, I wish there was some money that I could pick up. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. I got an idea. With this one last GP in my bank. <laughs> see, well, damn it, now I can't drop it. But you, did you see it glow? The glowing is the is the thing that I'm getting at, you know? Like, it'll plus one your pouch inventory, and it won't actually go into your inventory. So you could have, like, your inventory full up, and you can still pick up the coins, which I think is really friggin' awesome. Um, now, one of the last things I'd like to talk to you all about before we actually get into the loyalty batch three program, or the loyalty program batch three items, and you know auras and <sighs> emotes and shit like that, is the uh, the chrome goggles. Now, the chrome goggles, I I'm not playing on the client like I'm like I usually do. Um, so I'm actually on Chrome, and uh, these are a limited time offer if you log into RuneScape while using Chrome. Now, let me show you what these are going to look like. Uh, they're pretty cool, um, but they give an extreme haircut. <laughs> so, yeah, hopefully they'll be able to fix that up. So, I mean, I kind of like my Liberty Spikes, you know. They're, they're pretty fly, uh, but they just... They really trim down after putting these on, which is uh, something that I don't particularly like. <laughs> but, you know. Um, so, this is the Chrome goggles, which I think are pretty cool. And that's just all you have to do is log in uh, using Google Chrome and you'll get the goggles. So, cool stuff, cool stuff. Uh, and you do have to log into a world. You just don't log into the lobby. You actually have to go into 
a world and uh, log in. Then they'll just put them in your bank and you'll be able to take them out, wear them, blah, 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 all that shit. So cool deal, cool deal. That's um, pretty much all for that. I'm going to hop on over to the loyalty area now. All right, so I'm over here at the loyalty shop, and um, there's new auras. Um, now, the first on the list, of course, with everybody, and like what the question is with everyone is this. Okay, the Aegis creates a protective shield, and the duration is 30 minutes, and recharges in five hours. So that's really cool if you just want to do like a quick uh, few corp solos or something. You know, I mean, that's going to be really good. Um, but I don't think it's worth as many points as they kicked it up to, honestly. Um, but we'll have to see. You know, there's probably going to be a few videos on it uh, here in about a month or so. You know, actually, hopefully today. But I don't know who saved up that many loyalty points, you know. Um, so now, also, they added Salvation and Corruption. Here we go. Salvation and Corruptions gives you... Glowing wings and 1% increase on prayer, which, I mean, ain't shit, really, honestly. So we're just going to, you know, and corruption is pretty much the same damn thing, only it's like the evil side of things. So we're just going to move on to the next aura. Um, Ancestor Spirit. Ah, here it is. Ancestor Spirit. When you are injured, the chance that your ancestors will arrive to injure your foe in retaliation. So pretty much when you're hit in combat your ancestors are going to come back and be like, hi bitch, fuck you, you know, like they're going to hit your opponent and uh, try to add some damage to them. So that's that's that's, that's pretty cool, I, I like that. Also they've added dark magic, this causes your damage magic to have a chance of dealing a corrupt damage over time. But they worded it really weird. Um, on the thing, so I just reworded it a little bit for you to kind of understand better. So pretty much the more that you're in combat with somebody uh, using a magic spell with this aura, the more you will hit. Also, they've added Berserker and Regeneration. Now what Berserker does is it increases your strength and attack, but it decreases your defense level. And Regeneration pretty much just regenerates your health over time. Now they've also added the green fingers auras for us and these are for like skiller based people like for crops so, so farming you know. Um, now there's master green fingers there is greater green fingers and then there is a regular green fingers the regular is 5,000 the greater green fingers is 21,000 and the master green fingers is 42,500 points so that's that's a lot of points right there but it's supposed to prevent your crops from being coming diseased and uh, provides a seven percent chance of increasing crop crop yields so you know this recharges in 60 minutes and the duration is 20 minutes so pretty much like you know a farming run you know this this is a farming run, uh, so this really cool that they would give us a full 20 minutes on this and have a recharge of 60 minutes. So yeah, I mean, that's pretty much for the auras. Now, we're going to get into the emotes now, which some of these emotes are fucking, they, they look amazing, you know. Um, you know, I can't actually get any of the higher ones right now, uh, you know, because I unlocked Ghost last time, you all might remember that video. Um, but yeah, I mean, the Infernal Power, the Divine Power, Tornado, eh, I don't know if that would look too good, but Inferno Power and Divine Power look fucking amazing, like, I can't wait to actually get those, um, you know, I mean, like, they, I say they look amazing, because I've seen the Divine Power one, Jagex had posted an update on, um, the Twitter, and I was just like, holy shit, this looks really freaking awesome. So I really want to get the Divine Power, but I also want to get the Inferno Power. So I'm kind of like torn between which one I should actually get, you know, between good and evil, as uh, some people might be calling this one. Um, but yeah, oh, yeah. Uh, but they came out with um, a total of eight new emotes, which is pretty cool. But, you know, I mean, I'll I'll be able to get some more of these once um, I get some more loyalty points. I'm only at 9,250 at the moment, so I need some more. Actually, I'm going to get one of the new ones anyways. You're dead. Evil laugh. Yeah. And I guess the last one that I'm going to be getting is 
Locono no or Locono, but you know, I'm just you know, blah blah blah. And before we move on to the costumes, I'm just gonna show you all these emotes real quick so you can get an idea of what they actually look like. I don't have enough room to perform this, Ooh, it's gonna be good. Oh that's pretty cool, I guess. So let's do the evil laugh and my little chrome goggles. <laughs> oh, okay, that's 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 okay. And uh, here's the your dead emote. That's that's okay. That's, that's a pretty good emotes, I guess. Um, and they put all the new emotes down here at the bottom. So you got scream, golf clap, the locono. Um, Infernal Power, Divine Power, You're Dead, Scream, and Tornado. So those are all the new emotes. And I'm just going to move on to the costumes now, to the new costumes. For the new costumes, they've added the Colonialist outfit, Aztec outfit, Highlander outfit, and the Musketeer outfit. Now, out of all four of these, I personally like the uh, colonialist outfit the most because it looks like it just looks like it would be something that people could be official in. But I also like the Highlander outfit because it looks like something somebody might wear at a rave <laughs> or something. You know, I mean, it's just like it's it's cool. As for the other two, I'm not too keen on, you know, we just don't like, really like them that much, but, you know, they're okay, um, don't get me wrong, but, you know. Now, they've added some new titles as well. The Awesome is one of them, along with Prince, Princess, and Archon. They've also added some recoloring options to some of the items in RuneScape, which I think is pretty cool. Now, I was thinking, oh god, I really hope they don't do this to party hats. I hope they don't allow us to recolor party hats, because that would suck. Just think about it. Being able to recolor a party hat. What would RuneScape come to? But in all seriousness, um, the Ring of Stone it can now be recolored along with the full Slayer helmet, Lunar equipment, and Ranger boots. So that's all pretty cool. Thank you for watching. Um, remember, just a quick recap. This video is about the new tool belt, which is located right here in your wielding inventory area. And, um, you know, also the money pouch, which is really cool. And it has the price checker quick option right there. And the new auroras. Auras. Auras. Bleh. There we go. Um, <laughs> which are located right here and you can get them at the shop right in Varrock. So awesome stuff. Uh, thank you for watching this video. I hope that y'all enjoyed and I hope that it was informative. Oops, I'm not logging out. I'm stopping this video. What the hell am I